Hello again, it's me, Milton, the Little Milton Channel. Today, if you've probably looked at the front of it, you probably know what I'm going to be going on about, which is this thing here, the Mastic Gun. I've got that's what I call the Mastic Guns. They have other names, right? This is a DCE580, right? Doesn't get a lot of information about it. I think it's something like 4,000 newton meters of torque. Whereas the Milwaukee version of this has 4,500 and the Makita has 5,000 5, 5, 4, for the Milwaukee and this has 4,000, this one. Right, that's right. So why did we buy this one? Right, basically because we got fed up with the Mastic guns going pump, 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 right? My dad's not taking part on this, this is between me and my two sons. We decided we wanted something a little bit quicker, we got fed up of it. My dad's quite happy got the pound shop, buying his out of the pound shop. To do one tube, and then after that you pull it like this about ten times, and all you get is about that much distance out of them. Totally useless, no good for us. So anyway, we invested some money in this. But why the DeWalt then? Okay then, there were some specifications that we all wanted. One. We wanted the hook so we could hang it. And that's where the Milwaukee fails. The problem with the Milwaukee is if you try hanging it like this, it does this. So it'll do it. No, I think I'm do it. I'll trigger the release button, but no. Ah, the battery has to be in. So let's pop a battery in just now. It's happened before. Well, oh, not working at all now. Why is it not working? Hmm. Ah, that's right. That's the trigger release button. The top one is the trigger release button, and that one is to drive it forward. Right? So, if you do this with the Milwaukee and you hang it up, it does this, it slides it down. Well, that's not much good, that, because then you've got to try getting it back in again until you get to where you want. The other problem was the Milwaukee did actually come with a hook to hang it on. The other problem was was the Makita. The Makita itself didn't actually have a hook on it. I that was one I really wanted, but didn't have a hook on it. The boys wanted a hook to hang it, so fine. But unfortunately, when we bought this as well, I said to my son at the time, I said, hang on a minute, that's a two-piece kit, not the three-piece kit. The three-piece kit is this one here that comes with it. More about that later. He says, no, 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 it says it there. It says, I said, oh, fine. So anyway, he ordered it through the Amazonian channel. I paid for it, of course. And the end result was total and utter disaster. It came, and this is what we got with it. This here, which is no good. Then we had to order this one up. So, I haven't changed this over. I've never done it before. I've got the stuff ready to do it. So today, we're going to change all of this over, right? And see how it works, right? You have the screw here, which is a PH2. Where's my screwdriver? There it is. So we're going to take it to bits and get rid of all this and get the other piece back into place again. Oh, there's it. Right. So the black screw goes to the back. I wondered that. So we undo this screw here. Right. Place it there just now. Oh, there. Oh. All right. We we'll shall remove the battery for safety reasons. When it decides to come up, there we are. Yeah, hmm, batteries. The Waltz 3 amp compact battery. I can't get that. Look at size though. This is only 1.3, but it's the same size as a 2 amp battery. It's compact. Uh, I think uh, that actually won that argument. Its batteries are still the same size as its 2 amp battery. Right, pull that off. We'll have a look at that in more detail. Right, this should just unscrew up here like so. It does. And if I pull the trigger on here, it's just, this whole thing should just pull out. It does. Right, okay, that's that apart. Have we'll a quick look at this piece here though. Now, in the box, you get three of these nozzles. Right. You get a spare screw, which is obviously for this. Whether or not you can use this size or mastic gun inside the, the tube itself, 
right? So it'd be inside and it'd be poking through like that. Maybe you can. But I'm not going to try it because this is just too heavy and believe you me it is. You get one of these for attaching to the end one there. You just replace that end in there. I'm leaving the whole thing together for the time being. So I can decide where it's all going and how good I'm going to put it about. And you get three spare rubber o-rings which are obviously for the inside bit here that you take off and screw for inside there right you put it on because another thing that these things do is when it's all attached you can suck up large amounts of your big tub and pull that into it then replace one of these nozzles on the end with a rubber o-ring and off you go you also got a little tiny tube of grease it's also to lubricate up this bit inside here to help it flow up and down. This also takes the bags, which are called sashes, sausages if you like. You pop them in there when it's down there. You pierce some, screw the top back on with one of the nozzles and an o-ring, and then you're good to go. But believe this or not, screw fix don't even do them. Eh, great, well done. Anyway, that's that out of the way. So, then we had to go away and purchase this which is this piece here which fits into there and we get in here another plastic bit we get another one of these plastic bits here for screwing on to the end oh okay. this aha uh -huh, same size so we'll throw that in there we'll use the one that came with of course and you get a silver screw for the front and another black screw so what we'll do is, is we'll keep that kit together there, in fact if anything, we shall put the stuff into this bag. So we don't lose anything, O-rings and everything, are there. There we go, oh, dogs come to see us. Right, that's them in there. And in here you get this metal piece here, which is a new length, which I think should be shorter if I'm not mistaken. And you get instructions as well, of course, right? yeah it's shorter but there don't seem to be any difference in the ends okay then so we shall put this end on first any difference in the ends does it go anywhere mm, interesting mm, right, is there a difference on this end right just checking as i said i've not read the instructions for it why should i it's more fun watching somebody struggle. Well, according to that, that piece there just goes on the end. Ah, that's it, it's on. That one went on. Oh, we'll keep that in there. Right, and it's the silver end that goes on here. Okay, now it has a little blue piece on here. Obvious, that's to lock it down into place. I know what they're for. Push bikes have them. There we go. Mm, quite tight, too. Yeah, it's pulling it on, I can feel it. Okay, didn't turn it over tight. Right, so I suggest we take this piece here. Oh, it was like that, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Release. Oh, there we go. Then. Right, next piece that goes on has to be this piece here. Wow. Oh, quite self explanatory. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I did not read the instructions for this. Oh, we've got the handle on now, the hook, which goes this way. Oh, come on, get in. There we are. And we use the black screw for this one on the back. There we go. You could see, I should have went through that way first than did it. But. Well, yeah, actually, you should have. You'd be better off, if you're going to do it, do this, go that way on first, push it through, and then screw that piece on the end there, and then put the other bit on. What I'm more curious about is, it says it only takes 300 millilitres. Well, I've got, most of them that I've got are all three, three, three tens, right? So, we'll pull this right back. Is it right back? Yep. Now this tube is not pierced yet, I've just put the end on it, alright, so we're going like so, like wow, no problem at all, this thing will take even bigger, right, so it'll take even bigger than this, 
So, oh, I don't know how big it'll take, to be honest with you. So it'll take bigger anyway. So all you've got to do now is, is pull the trigger again, push that into place like so. Oh, again. The three amp battery was actually separate, right? The gun with the aluminium bit on it was 260. Then we spent another 30 quid getting this piece here, right? Sit there, this piece. Yeah, and another 49 pound to get the battery. And then we'll run through some of the... Right, we'll get rid of that now, we don't need it. We'll pull this back just now. And we'll run through some of the other bits and pieces because I've pierced this yet. And then we'll have a look at it in action once we run through. Right, this is why we want it. It's this bit here. I thought that was for piercing in the sashes, the long sausages. Obviously it's not. Right, I've never really used them. I know a lot of the guns have them. Right. So anyway, the handle. Once you're fully forward like that and you've emptied out your tube, the trigger underneath here, you pull that, you pull it back. Right. And you can hang things with this thing here. And it is still actually quite heavy and it is big. It is big. I know I've got little hands, but this is big. Right. This is the trigger for moving it forward, like so. And when you, when you take your finger off, it does an additional motor run where it pulls it back, right? Then, underneath here is just main speed control, which it does vary the speed all the way. So if I turned it down, say, on A3, and you pull it, it only moves at that, but you still have control over the trigger. So you can move this very, very steadily as well. So it, oh, it's pretty good. I'd say it's a bit heavy for a one-handed juice, so I will admit. But they're all big. I know it's that. I think the Makita might be one of the smaller ones, but the Milwaukee itself's big. And of course, you've got the Ryobi as well, I didn't mention. The Ryobi also do them as well. And of course, when your tube's in there, you can still spin it round your end. Because you normally shape these ends, which hasn't been done yet. And I'll show you what I mean by that when I'm ready. When I'm, when I'm ready to load it. And you have a lock switch here, which locks it so you cannot pull, you can still pull that trigger, which is the release for that. But you can't pull it on, see, so fine. And one thing more, the three amp battery. Now, a little tip on these three amp batteries. The walt batteries rattle about a bit sometimes in the bottom down here. If you still got the belt hook on the equipment you're using, buy the three amp battery, flip it on, because the belt hook rubs on it, just slightly, it stops the battery from rattling, and I'm telling you now, this battery doesn't even rattle at all. Now, will it stand like this? Yes, it does. Right, let's go away and let's open up the tube how we're supposed to do this. Okay then. Okay then, we have a rather cool little Stanley knife, right? This one here. So, we won't bother opening that just yet. Mm -hmm. Okay then, very carefully. First of all, we open them up like so, right? And uh, just like this. Watch this, I'll go flying. Oh, no, nope, it's not going to do it. It's always the same when you try to do these carefully. Uh, yeah, got it. Fine. <clears throat> I'll just leave that there just now open. Right. So we need to feed this into the gun, so we'll pull this one, pull it back, push it forward to there. Uh, problem here, you can't always see, alright? Ah, a minute. There we are. Quick pull. There we go. Right, that's that coming up now. Now we'll shape our end. Now, now I always do that. We, uh, when tubes and I'm replacing the tops, it stops an air bubble from getting inside them, right? So I think this time round will be a bit. Ooh, wow, this. Is... Ah, I know what its problem is. It's blunt, so it's the wrong way. Let's reshape this end, because I always reuse the ends. Okay, is that done? Right, close the knife down. Safety. Right. Screw the end on. Ooh, we don't have to come up a bit. Now let's see if we can turn this. Right, 
Is that end on right? Right, now we are good to go. Right, yeah. And you can, you can turn it around actually quite easy. Well, yeah, pretty cool. Oh, I like this. Yeah, I do. I don't like that, though. Oh, I can still turn the tube anyway because it's released the pressure on it. Right then, you won't be able to do it probably if you pull the trigger. Right, we've got this on three. So what we'll do is we'll set it up and we'll go running around something first of all to see how this thing actually works then. Right, wait a minute. Anything else? Right. Speed control the back. We've got rubber handle. We know where the release is. We know where the trigger is. We've got a lock on switch. Plenty of rubber on it. As I say, we've got a hook here for hanging it up on. So really and truly that's about it. Bar we've got some bit of rubber on the sides. Not really that much more you can say about this tool. So I think it's time we are away and we've seen it in action. So we'll go away and we'll do that. Right, now I've got this set on three. So here goes. All right, way. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That is coming out way quicker than what I anticipated. <laughs> Yeah, they did say it takes a little bit of getting used to it. They weren't half kidding. Wow, and that was on speed three. And we'll turn it down then. Speed two, we'll try that. So we get on with that then. Ah, you got to take your finger off quicker. Right. This is messy stuff. Well, I have to admit, it's got to take a bit of getting used to for that fine work. You certainly don't have to uh, have it going that quick anyway. So then, let's just see if we can tidy this up. First of all. Wow, we didn't have to throw the stuff out though. Right. Wow, we. Good job, I've got some yellow paint to paint around the edges. Wow. Well, let me get that off of there. Right, I think I shall go and get myself cleaned up. We'll just pause this just now. Okay, let's see if we can try again without making a mess. One handed operation coming up. You got to pull your finger off the trigger earlier than you think. That's part of the problem. Almost getting better. Not 100% though. Anyway, I think we get the idea. I'll see if we can find something else I can practice on. Okay, we'll try this piece now. Right. It's that, it's that auto blinking will shut off, it still seems to run on a bit. Getting better. There's not as much wastage that time anyway. Well, yeah, those fly up for your start to look a bit healthy. Holy oh, shit, already. Yeah, I don't know. It's looking snug. Oh, it's still recording. Oh. I don't know what about it. I'll try that again. Okay then, we'll try filming this big edge here. See how we get on. Jammed.
Yeah, it's the off switch. You just got to get used to it. When you have to turn it off, it doesn't quite always back it off right away. Ooh, this stuff is goo, eh? Wow, is it? Right. Try again, something else. Right, try this bit here, lower it down. Yeah. Yeah, if you keep it rolling along, it's not too bad, actually, I must admit. Right, we'll just clean that up just now. Just put my finger down it like so. There we are, yeah. It's just getting used to it. It's like starting from scratch. When you start to get used to uh, mastic guns for the first time, you end up making a royal mess everywhere. It's just like getting used to this as well. And no doubt through time I'll have the speed turned up to full pelt as well. So... Okay then, what I thought we'd try now is We'll try some white glue on this. See what happens. If she comes, oh, it's clear, it's not white. Right. Probably have to speed this up a bit. Okay, we'll take it up to three then. Final speed three. Okay, ready? Here goes. Right, hit the table there. Let's move the table a bit. Right, that's it. Right, I'll slow it down now to two. See if the, what we get up to. Okay, and that's on speed two. Speed one. Well, then we'll go for speed six. What do you think? <laughs> Roll off. Ah, stuff's time to go off now, so all I'll do is I'll just speed it up by speed six and we'll see, well, let's have a laugh, okay? Ready? Here goes. Oh, wow, I'm there. Wow, whole tube went. Wow. <laughs> right, spread it about then.
start to walk now. Right, get the whiteboard now. Eee, that stuff is sticky. <clears throat> right, slide any place. We're touching there, we're touching there. We're touching down here, we are not. We are back here, yep, we are. Successfully done. Glue it in place. Right then, on with the next bit. Okay, now that I've learned that the secret is really to move pretty fast with it, let's have another shot with the brown then. Let's see how we get on with it. position with a gun as well. It's big. I'll turn it out a bit up later. Right, I'll just go around the other side. Can be done, just gotta take a bit of practice though. Oh, I think I forgot to mention actually, this thing actually has a light on it too. Yeah. Ah, one minute. That's better. Rotate. There. There we go. Right, we'll try another one further down. Move this out of the way. Oops, it is. I thought the spillage was here. Yep. It's just a matter of being nice and neat and getting the gun at the right orientation as well. Yeah, just getting the gun at the right orientation and off you go. Remember to pull the trigger when you're supposed to. When you get near the end. See? There we go. Nice and neatly done. So it can be done. So, really and truly, the secret with this gun is. Getting it into the right orientation so that there's nothing in the way. Learning that shouldn't be too hard. And it's the speed. It's all down to speed. Same with mastic guns. It's all really at the end of the day. It's all down to speed. Keeping it flowing, keeping it moving. So I'm pretty darn well sure we should be able to master this pretty quick with a bit of practice. And as you can see here, when I went back to the brown stuff, I started putting things together again. So I'll go away and I'll play with some more then. Okay then. Okay then, you've seen me <laughs> making a mess with this. <laughs> I mean, I've got to admit it. But, I was beginning to notice towards the end of me mucking about with it, that it is actually down in the same system as what we used to with the mastic guns. It's moving quickly and keeping that float ray there, right? It's the same. And of course, it would have to be in awkward angles. If I had better runs at things, I might have done a little bit better. But the last one I did, I did notice you keep it moving. But before you stop, you've got to let go of the trigger. You can't sort of say, right, I'm stopping now and let go of the trigger because it doesn't seem to work that way. That is something that you're going to have to get used to. And I'm glad I got the three amp battery for it. This thing is heavy and I would say it's definitely a two handed operation. Some of my sons will be using it more than me. So good luck to them with it. But that was respects. I'd have the hook on it. The Milwaukee failed. The Makita didn't actually come with the hook on it. 
And as I said, yeah, I don't think I ever once hung it like, and that's what it's for, it's for hanging like that. There you go, it's hanging now, you see. And this is why we went for the, the act of the wall because of this. It had it. Now, before I go, if you do buy this and you end up getting the one with the metal cartridge on it, right, but you want this one here along with the plastic bit, which is far better, and it can take bigger cartridges. I mean, look where it's up to, it's up to there. So, I mean, oh, God knows what size of cartridge. I haven't got cartridges the size I need to try that to find you and tell each one of them. Right, if you have to buy this separate, it's DCE five six zero one i'll read that again the part number for this black bit is dce five six zero one right so if you type that in on amazon you'll get it and it'll come up it's about 30 quid though for that and it has good quality plastic i must admit so if it does get broken well it gets broken i suppose like but as i say the gun for me uh it should have been brushless it's not this has got brushed motor in it of course, they've probably got loads of them. They will be bringing a brushless version out, but they'll probably sell off all of these. I don't think they sell a lot of them anyway. But I'm impressed with it. It does work, and it'll be fun getting used to it. But as I say, it'll be my sons that will be mainly using it. And luckily, one of my sons isn't really used to a mastic gun yet, and one of them is. And the one that isn't used to it, I think he'll pick this up a lot easier, to be honest with you. Although I can see a few messes anyway. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I'm Cod Melton, the channel's called Little Melto. Subscribe if you want, thumbs up, thumbs down, I'm easy going. I've tried my best here to talk you through everything and if I've missed anything out and you're not happy with something and you want to learn about more, let me know and I'll get in touch and I'll try and maybe do another video on what some people want. Okay then, next time then people. Okay, bye now.